Hey there! Welcome back to my channel. Very happy new year to all of you. Happy new year 2023. Let's welcome in a new year with new hope and new life. Okay, so I'm super excited with this new year. As you all know, I am offering my free style coaching package to one lucky winner this new year as my gift to all of you for this new year 2023. Now, apart from that, I also have this exciting announcement to all of you this new year. I'm also introducing now my new service called Reiki Space Clearing this new year. Okay. As you all know, I am not only a certified spine coach, I am also a certified heart centered Reiki master teacher and Kundalini Reiki master, and also a certified Reiki space clearing practitioner. So, this new year, I'm launching my space clearing service to all of you. So what is this space clearing? Why, why is this important? Okay. Now, before I talk about space clearing, I want to talk about energy clearing itself. Talking about energy itself, it's a huge topic. I won't be able to cover it up in this video. But as basically in simple terms, all I can say is that everything around us is energy, including ourselves, okay, including our body we have an energy body as well so when it comes to spaces okay i am talking about the space that you encounter on a day-to-day -day basis okay it could be your bedroom your study room your living area your house itself your home your office space okay so all the spaces that you encounter on your day-to-day -day basis these are all spaces okay now what happened is I'm going to explain this metaphorically well, because if I, I want to talk about energetically, it's going to be very deep and it will take a long time to explain. So metaphorically speaking, in simple term, roughly this is what you will help you to understand how it works is basically when you, uh, you know, when someone enters a space, okay, they're wearing a perfume, let's say, okay, when they enter a room, okay, and then that person who, who went in with that perfume smell, Okay, the person has already left, okay? But if somebody else enters the same room after about 10 to 15 minutes, you always get the smell of the perfume, right? Even though the person who was in the room before that has already left, okay? But the perfume smell is still left behind. Remnants of that perfume is left behind, right? So when you enter the room, you will take that smell, right? It happens, right? We all have experienced that. So just like that, you see, when we we are dealing with uh, certain kind of emotions on a day-to-day -day basis, humans experience a spectrum of emotions. We don't go through a single day with just a single emotion. We have spectrum of emotions. We have a lot of emotions going on in the background, surfacing, expressing, you know, all these kind of emotions are going on. No, emotion, if you if I want to define emotion, is E motion, and the E stands for energy. Okay, energy in motion. That's roughly how you can understand what emotion is. It's basically an energy in motion. So it will be moving. Okay, so just like this perfume, let's say someone enters a space with an emotion of anger. Okay, they just fought with someone and they just entered the space. Okay, now when they stay in that space and then they leave, just like the perfume smell that was left behind, this energy gets left behind in that space too a part of it okay if not all a part of it is getting gets left behind in that space okay now that perfume like a perfume smell that emotion stays there it stays in that space in that room when someone else enters that room okay even though you don't know who this person is just like you can smell the perfume you will start picking up this energy okay this anger energy now, if, if it happens just randomly, you just enter that once and then you come out, you get dispersed. But imagine if a person who is angry enters the same space every day for 30 days for a month, okay? And another person who has nothing to do with this person who is angry enters the same room and picks up that energy of anger every single day for 30 days. 
this person who picked it up will start developing this emotion as well. They will start to get angry on stuff. They will start to get angry on people without any reason because they tend to pick up this energy because this energy got built up in that space. It wasn't clear, okay? Now, this, imagine this room is your home, okay? So imagine how many type of emotions that we tend to build up within our home, within the spaces in our house. The spectrum of emotion that tends to be involved in our day-to-day -day life. Just think about it. How many times have we cleared that space? How many times have we renewed that energy there? Okay, because energy can neither be created nor destroyed. Okay, so you cannot destroy that energy. Okay, it will stay there. It will just keep moving everywhere. So what happens is when you have this kind of build up of energy within a space, for example, your house, okay, what happens is most a perfect example would be living area because all the family members will tend to sit in the living area at one point of time or not or the other, you know, and they tend to have different spectrum of emotions. For example, siblings fighting, fighting between husband and wife. So this kind of energy gets trapped up in this living area and imagine how many times do we do energy clearing in our house, okay? Most of the time, for years, we go on with just that energy. That energy gets deposited in your living area. And what happens is, as time goes on, when you enter that space, you will start to feel this energy, okay? Anger, you know, this temper, all this kind of energy will start to hit you. And over time, you will start to feel tired, exhausted, demotivated. Every time you step into that space, you feel that and you bring this energy with you and you transfer it to other people that you meet as well and anyone who encounter that space will get this energy as well okay so this will make you okay it will start to influence your personal life you will start to feel lethargic you will start to feel tired you have no motivation you always feel angry for no reason the entire space will start to become gloomy okay because of this energy deposition when you want to have a good life and you want to be in the best version of you it's not enough to just work on yourself like i said your external and internal you also need to work on your environment okay your environment needs to be cleansed as well okay so when you do this kind of energy space clearing of energy okay when you do this we actually help to transmute this energy transmute meaning we change or those deposited energy okay gets transmuted meaning we fill in that space with love and light okay make that space more uplifted and giving way for this negative energy to move out to disperse so when you keep doing this the entire energy of that space will start to change it will start to give you more positive space for you to work it will also start influencing your life in a better way okay you start to see the difference even from the first day itself you start to feel more uplift, uplifted normally this kind of spaces affects kids and pets the most because small kids and pets animals are very sensitive to energy changes okay so it in long time if you don't do this kind of energy space clearing this will affect your kids in the house and also affects your pets your animals in the house okay so this new year why don't you give your family members your loved ones the gift of space clearing okay so i am ready and pumped up to give you this service this new year 2023 i'm opening this this year this month i'm already launching the service okay so to know more about my free key energy space clearing service please do visit my website www.emeron.biz for more information and i can't wait to serve you with my new service and with that i wish all of you a great new year ahead until i see you in my next video bye